we know the earth revolves around the sun in a fixed orbit and this orbit is elliptical in shape and what does an ellipse look like suppose i have two pins fixed on a table and connected by a thread now if i take a pencil and move it around while keeping the string tight the shape that i would end up with is an ellipse and these two points where the pins are fixed are called the foci and each point individually is called a focus there is a bit of math we need to understand to learn more about these ellipses we know the radius of a circle is a line which represents the constant distance of the points on the circle from the center of the circle but here it is the sum of these two lengths that remain constant that is l1 l2 the earth's orbit is an ellipse with the sun at one of its foci so when the earth orbits around the sun and it is closest to the sun this position of the earth is said to be the perihelion peri in greek means near while helion refers to the sun at this point it is about 147.5 million kilometers from the sun and the date is roughly around january 4th on july 4th the earth is at its farthest position from the sun this is known as aphelion ap means away the distance between the sun and the earth at this position is around 152.6 million kilometers so the earth takes about 6 months to go from its nearest point to its farthest point from the sun can you imagine how fast the earth moves around the sun well earth's speed of revolution is roughly around 1 lakh 7000 kilometers per hour and how much time does earth take to complete one complete revolution around the sun well to be precise it is 365 days 6 hours 9 minutes but generally we consider it to be about 365 days which is equal to one year according to the gregorian calendar I'm sure you must have seen earth images like these. Don't you think there is something odd about these images? Earth is shown a bit tilted and not straight. Well, this is because the axis around which earth rotates in itself is tilted. Why is that? How is earth's axis tilted? When we say something is tilted we usually say it with reference to something else right tilted with respect to what let me explain suppose these are two perpendicular planes one vertical and one horizontal at an angle of 90 degrees to each other if i keep the axis of the earth like this we will say it is straight why because with respect to the vertical plane the axis is actually making an angle of 0 degrees and with respect to the horizontal it is making an angle of 90 degrees what else i tilt the axis like this now it is making an angle of 23.5 degrees with respect to the vertical plane and 66.5 degrees with respect to the horizontal plane can you find out where these two planes are when the earth is in space it is a bit tricky to locate these two planes as they are related to the earth's revolution we know along with its rotation the earth also revolves around the sun now if i trace this path i get a shape 
which kind of looks like a circle, but it is not a perfect circle. If I make the plane of this circle-like shape solid, it starts looking like a disk. This disk passes through the center of the sun and through the center of the earth. This plane is called the earth's orbital plane. Now, if we look at this disk from this angle at our eye level, it merely looks like a straight line. Earth's motion around the sun would look like this. Now, this represents our horizontal plane and the vertical plane is perpendicular to it. Earth's axis is placed like this and the Earth is rotating around it. The angle of the Earth's axis with the vertical is 23.5 degrees. Its angle with the orbital plane or the horizontal is 66.5 degrees. Thus, we can say that the Earth is tilted at 66.5 degrees with respect to the orbital plane.